Welcome to Pico Interactive. Our headsets are built with your business in mind. For this video, we will be using the Neo 3 Pro model to show the main features and get you set up with your new headset. This is one of our 4K headsets with 6 degrees of freedom, 6DOF, and is part of our portfolio of headsets available at Pico. In this video, we will cover the basics to get you started with your new headset. Let's first take a look at what is inside the box. Along with your new virtual reality headset, you will also find two 6DOF controllers with batteries, two wrist straps, a charging cable, power adapter and user manual. The first thing you will need to do is charge your headset. To do this, simply take the charging cable and plug it into your headset here. You can plug the other end into any USB port or you can use the provided power adapter to charge your headset via an electrical outlet. Please note, on both the Neo 3 Pro and Neo 3 Pro i headsets, the charging port is located on the top of the headset. Next, prepare the controllers by removing the seal within the controllers above the supplied batteries, here. The controllers will be your main input for interacting with the headset and the content you will experience. You will see four buttons and a joystick on the controller, the release on the underside and a grip button. This is the home button. With this, you switch on the controller with a short press on the button. No matter where you are, pressing this button will take you back to the home screen where you started. If you press and hold this button, you can also recenter your view. The right controller has the A and B buttons, and the left controller has the X and Y buttons. The A button is a selection button, and the B button is a back button. The X and Y buttons can be used just as the A and B button to select and exit apps. This button is programmable for your application needs. This larger disk shape is your joystick. When the controller is turned on, a light next to the home button is illuminated. If you see the light flashing on your controller, it may be searching for a connection to your headset, in the process of a firmware update, or if it is flashing very fast, telling you that the battery power is low and that you should consider refreshing the batteries. That's it for the controller for now. Now, let's familiarize ourselves with the headset. The first thing to do is carefully remove the protective covers from the front of the headset, the back of the strap and from the lenses. An important note to avoid damaging the screen. Do not expose the lenses to sunlight or other bright lights as this may result in permanent damage. The Neo 3 Pro and Pro Eye models already come with an elite strap. Here, on the back of the strap, you will find the battery for the headset. This allows for a more balanced fit, which is perfect for longer sessions in VR. To adjust for a comfortable fit, turn the knob at the back of the strap. The rubber strap can also be adjusted for a better fit. The Neo 3 Pro and Neo 3 Pro i has a camera component that can be used in application development. On the side of the headset, here, you will find a similar set of buttons to the controller. The home button takes you to the home screen and allows you to recenter the headset or wake it from sleep mode. The button in the middle, here, is how you confirm a selection if you are not using the controller. This button, just like the one on the controller, is programmable for use within your own apps as a developer. The great thing about having these functions on the headset is you can go controller free if you want to. Simply do not pair the controller on startup. Use these buttons here and move your head to direct the crosshairs over your intended selection. On top of the headset, we will start with the most important button of all, the power button. To power on, press this button for approximately two seconds. You will see a small light glow right next to this button to indicate it is turned on. To power off, press and hold for approximately five seconds. If you have the headset on at this time, you will see the Pico logo animate and fade out. If you need to reset the headset for any reason, you can do so by pressing this same button for 10 seconds. 
Handy tip. You can also tap this button to set your headset into sleep mode. While still powered on, to help conserve battery when not in use. Next to the power button is the USB-C port. As you saw earlier, this is where we plugged in our cable to charge the headset. Here is the DisplayPort cable port, and behind it is where you secure it with a specially made screwdriver. Please note, the DP cable is sold as a separate accessory. You will find the volume adjustment here, on the bottom. If you want to use headphones, you will find an audio jack here. Built-in speakers are located here, in the straps. The microphone is located here. In addition to the features of the Neo 3 Pro, the Neo 3 Pro iModel offers 8GB of RAM and built-in eye tracking. With Toby eye tracking technology, the Pro Eye is designed to deliver exceptional insights and enhance the all-round use of the headset. Before you put on your Pico headset, always try to operate in a clear space free of obstacles, where you can move your arms freely. Remember that in the fully immersive 360 degree environments, you can turn around to look behind you, so make sure there are no obstacles behind you either. To put on the headset, Place over your head, starting with the front framed on your face, and slide the solid strap down the back of your head. Adjust the fit using the knob on the back of the headset. Our Pico headsets are designed to be worn by people who wear glasses. Position the headset to carefully place the face pad slightly against your glasses and hold as you move the strap over your head. Now, you're ready to go. Thank you for choosing Pico Interactive. Our headsets are built with business in mind.